this is Margaret with Mud Run Guide. I am here with Joe DeSena. Joe, thanks so much for taking a few minutes out of your extremely busy schedule to talk to us about the new medals and the new trifecta um, season pass and the other season passes you have coming out this year or next year. I'm just just happy people want to talk to me at all. (laughs) Nice that you even call me. (laughs) <laughs> I always call you mostly to talk about your kids no just kidding sure. um, so we just got in today here in my office and just did a, a quick thing now yesterday it'll be up but the new metal that you guys have out this year it is pretty sleek looking can you, you like te- yeah I love it can you tell me about the like how it's totally different from everything we've seen from you guys so where did it kind of come from so we did we did um we crowdsourced it we went out um online and we asked people to send in um their best designs and ultimately no one came up with that exact design but we got inspiration from a couple of designs that then um led us to talk to some people and um i actually went into a welding shop once we had the ideas and um we pounded on some metal i I, i'm not talented at all so it, it didn't look anything like that it, it would matter of fact no one would take the metal that i made because it just looked like a piece of rusty steel but um but ultimately we came up with that awesome metal yeah the first thing that i thought when i saw it was it looks a lot like the spartan coins that you guys have been yeah. giving out so can you give us a quick overview of where the coin came from that now it seems like has been an inspiration for the metal yeah, yeah, so the coin, um, I don't remember what year it was, maybe two, three years ago. Um, the coin came to mind that wouldn't it be awesome if we had like, I think I was, I think I was reading up, might have been more than three years ago, I was reading up on Sparta and Leonidas and how, uh, well, Lysurgis, before Leonidas, ha- had come up with this idea of um, not getting people focused on money. And so he made the money of Sparta very heavy weights. And, um, and then I got my mind going towards a coin, and wouldn't it be cool if we dug up a bunch of old coins? And, and so then the coin came about, and people love it. People love it, the coin, so much that uh, Andrew, the CEO of Iron Man, actually uh, gave me a call and said, hey, do you mind if I steal that idea? And, um, and so that, that you know, uh, imitation is the greatest form of flattery, so that was awesome to get that call. And, um, and so we got the coin, and now we got the medal. Excellent. Yeah. And you guys have um, some new season passes coming out for this year. You've got the trifecta pass, which seems pretty cool to me. Um, can you talk about the trifecta pass a little bit and what you that know, is? It, yeah. You know, the biggest thing uh, for me is changing people's habits. Like, you know, you know me pretty well. I'm a, <laughs> I'm a motivational nut. I want to keep people moving. If, every, if I'm awake, I want everybody else awake. <laughs> um, my kids asked me the other day, hey, dad, why couldn't you run for president? And I said, well, one, nobody likes me. But two, um, I would make everybody wake up early in the morning and do burpees. And I would have everybody go to bed at 8 p.m. And I'd cut out all junk food and there'd be no alcohol. And so it really wouldn't be um, something that people uh, liked. But to that point, I want to change people's habits, right? I want them waking up early. I want them going to bed early. And you know, and everybody out there listening knows that um, it's hard to change uh, us. We are inherently lazy creatures. And so every chance we get to not do something, we, we take that opportunity. And so the trifecta was developed to transform that, right? Because when you put a stake in the ground, you're going to get married, you're starting a new business, you sign up for a race. Um, all of a sudden, everything you do every day is driven towards that goal so i gotta wake up early i gotta train because the race is coming i gotta not eat that dessert because the race is coming and so we said one race a year is not enough to change people's habits change people's habits let's go to three events and we came up with the trifecta idea which has worked um tremendously towards that goal towards changing people's habits um there's been a great article written i think it was in the new york times the last few weeks i read here in japan where um all these fitness trackers that people are buying, um, they expected would change people's habits, but actually they don't. People are monitoring their own activity, but they're not, it's not affecting change. And I got excited because what does affect change is what we do, right? People are so scared, they're scared off their couch. And, um, and if I could do that three times a year, not one time a year, with getting progressively harder, then, then we win, the consumer wins, 
And so we created a pass because we said, why, why don't we get people to buy that commitment, right? We, we know that people gain uh, 10, 12 pounds on average going into the, the new year, right around the holidays, mm-hmm. and then they start to lose weight after that. And if we could get them to buy the pass before the new year, maybe avoid putting on those 10 pounds, commit to next year, rip some other you know, couch potatoes, spear some couch potatoes that are sitting on couches, um, we'd win. So long, sto- long answer, but that's the story. Excellent. Yeah, and you guys have the open season pass and the elite season pass, which you guys have pretty much had those in, in, before, and they work in the continental U.S. and Hawaii. Um, well, those, are for the, those are for the lunatics, right? <laughs> like, I, I, I'm on an airplane. I'm carrying my kettlebell, and uh, I bump into a guy. Actually, the guy was sitting next to me, and I'm like, he's like, oh, Joe. And I was like, oh, how do you know me? He's like, oh, I've done 30 Spartan races this year. So um, I was like, you done 30 races? How much did that cost you? And he goes, I sleep on people's couches. I just get by, or maybe two grand. And I'm like, Jesus, I don't even know how that's possible. <laughs> But um, but they do it. So that's what those passes are for. Yeah. And so I guess the the trifecta pass, if I were going to get that be, before I let you you go, is what would your ideal trifecta be in the U.S.? Because I know you're in Japan right now, but if you had to do in the U.S., which three do you think you would pick? You know, that's a great um, question. Well, Killington would have to be on there, mm-hmm. right? Um. I, I, I'm not going to, I'm going to add some extras. Okay. <laughs> I got to do Tahoe. I got to do Killington. I got to do uh, Tuxedo. I, I'm, I'm a nostalgic guy, right? I'm just going back old school here. Um, where am I going to do my super? Um, Arizona, maybe. Maybe I'd go out to Arizona just to get a little heat. Get, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, I'm, I guess I'm a, new, I'm a New England guy. I do tuxedo, Killington, Arizona, and then I'd, I'd make sure I'm at the, the World Champs in Tahoe. So you'd go so to those boring, three boring. and earn your way into the World Championships. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Well, excellent. Joe, thanks so much. I know that you are extremely busy and we're going to have a whole article that goes along with all the details so we don't have to lay them all out here. Um, but One more, one more yeah. detail I want to give you. Um, I'm just looking. I just got updated that we sold out. We sold out Fenway. We sold out, um, what did we sell out? We sold out Dallas, Fenway, Carolina, Hong Kong, L- and LA. So um, we're capping races this year. Mm-hmm. We're not. We're not. We're not just going to let uh, more and more people enter. So, um, if you're out there and you're listening, get signed up because w- what I don't want. Everybody has my email address. I don't want to get those thousands of emails every day that says, "Do me a favor, get me in." The-. And of course, I'll always help everybody. But um, get signed up early so I don't have to get those emails. Excellent. Yeah, and it'll make HQ a lot happier if you're not pushing people Involved. into races. <laughs> well, thanks again, Joe, and. Um, uh, I guess, uh, give us your favorite Japanese, do you know how to say head to a Spartan race in Japanese yet? You know, I'm an idiot for not knowing that, but I could say arigato, which is uh, thank you. <laughs> um, hey, Court, what other words can I say in Japanese? <laughs> I haven't learned very much. <laughs> it, what is it? She's talking Japanese. I don't know what she's saying. <laughs> well, we'll leave it with arigato then. All right. All right. Thanks, Bye. Joe. Bye. Yeah.